Hello. So the next thing is, um, I think we have talked uh, yesterday as well a bit about uh, virtual reality. Um, you know, today I want to, we're going to show something. Uh, it is um, a kind of pre-announcement um, of a possible acquisition that we're going to do. Uh, it's not finished yet, but uh, let, let's say that there is more than a meeting of the minds with the people that has uh, developed it. Um, virtual reality, it's, it's already available in, in, in many forms. And, and yesterday I said that if you Google it for, for Revit, you're going to find a lot of you know, small products that give you a virtual reality for a house, and you can walk through it, and, and da da da. Um, but what about if you have you know, a huge plant with, let's say, 10 industrial buildings? completely filled with pipes and, and you know, oil and gas things or, or steel, steel fabric, etc. cetera. Uh, can you then apply as well uh, virtual reality? Because that's where it becomes really interesting. You can, once you can do that, um, you know, with the future developments that we can do on that, um, we can help really the, the users and, and of the buildings uh, you know, to solve problems that today are not really that easy uh, because you can virtually uh, set apart what they can do, etc. So today we um, have invited um, the main developer of that platform, and that's Geert Martelink. And, and I would ask Geert as well to come on stage if he's here. Yeah, he's a he's a great guy, and uh, you know you should know who 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 developed this. Um, and then we have somebody from ArcelorMittal. Uh, ArcelorMittal is, I think, probably the largest steel production company in the world. Uh, they have a huge, huge, huge plant in, uh, close to Ghent. And the whole plant is in virtual reality. And, you know, ArcelorMittal is becoming also uh, a client of ours uh, in the next uh, future. So, I think it's, it's a good momentum to show you uh, what is coming on. Um, you're going to show you things with CAD models, but also with point clouds. Uh, on the point cloud side, probably you know, we can improve still further on, but I think it's, it's impressive enough to, to, you know, to give you a glimpse of, of that technology that uh, you will uh, soon see appear uh, under our logo. Guys, give it a shot. Okay, good afternoon. Maybe a quick show of hands. Who has experienced real-time VR? That is, you know, with Oculus Rift or HTC Vive? Okay, quite a few of you. I think the, the main added value here is that you, you get a real sense of space. Your, your mental ma model is far more accurate. You see things in VR that you don't see on the screen, even though they're there. It's also far more accessible to non-technical people. I think, especially in the, com in the industrial side, it has been received with tremendous enthusiasm, not only by the engineers or the modelers or the technical people, but by, by all stakeholders, operational people. They can give feedback in ways that was not possible before. By management, top management, and for sure, Jürgen will be able to convey that enthusiasm. He's, he represents the company here. Um, in the demo, he's going to give you. OK, enjoy. OK, thank you very much. Um, I was doing a quick flyover of our terrain. Um, I'm here at some yeah, detailed models. Uh, it's not really engineering, but um, we just added a few uh, gadgets on it. Um, but what you see here is actually our engineering data from the past 15 years. Yeah? This contains everything from DWG files, even BricsCAD, uh, SolidWorks. Uh, we buy installations and we get supplied a lot of data. We put everything in here. Um, what you are seeing here is one data set of 70 gigabytes. That's on the screen here. Now. Um, we added a layer menu, and there are some 
conceptual buildings on it, so I can turn those buildings off if I want to. Oh, it didn't work. Off. And now we can actually see more of the installations that we are into. Yeah. Going to navigate over here. See, everything is just in full detail. We make drawings out of this. Yeah, this is project data. Once the project has been completed, we just archive and it's gone. Yeah, now we are just reusing everything that we had. Um, looking for this one. And this is not just on screen. This is even on virtual reality. Yeah. Um, the big thing about virtual reality is its performance. Um, there are two screens in a helmet like this. And I need high frame rate to actually move around. See you in a moment. The tracker is lost a bit. No. Well, we are having we are having two sensors down here, and they are actually tracking, or they should be tracking the helmet. So there is there he is again. Okay. So where are we? Okay, over there. I'll better turn first a bit to you because I don't have any sense of direction here. So this is a typical installation that we uh, done a few years ago. Um, I would really love to show you, but we added physics in this. So I'm actually standing in this installation, so wherever I look, I can actually almost taste it. I can bump into it, I can respond with, with my model. And we added a feature um, like, like physics. Um, it's, it's, it's a pity we cannot show it here because we didn't have the time to calibrate the sensors. But when we add physics, I can walk down this stair yeah, without any steering. The model, the, it will be intelligent enough when I forward that I will be um, compelled to, to physics, to every model. I will bump into everything. Uh, I will have to bend yeah, to crawl under something. Now, another great feature is what we have been exploring is also for maintenance. Where is he? Okay, so we are using um, camera points as well to steer through that model. And for example, I'm standing here on this installation and I need to do a work preparation. There is a valve anywhere down here that needs to be replaced. So within that virtual model, I can actually react to the environment and analyze how I can get there, how I can evacuate when there's an emergency. So on this platform, I need to fulfill some activities. So for example, this is a valve that I would need to replace. I can yeah, look around in the environment. I can see from, okay, this is pretty dangerous. I can trip over here. I can analyze the tools that I will, would need to replace this, um, how I'm going to lift it up. Yeah, let's say we're going to put a beam over here and we can hoist it. When I have that valve, and it will be loose, it might drop. So I see a point of, of danger of uh, when I put my hand between that wheel and that railing, that might be dangerous. So I can pick that up more faster in virtual reality, 
than I can do on a flat screen. Now, this is all nice, but this is all engineering data from what you have been designing. Oh, I'm over there. Um, all right. What we have also done, and this is quite yeah, really new, is added laser scans. This is a spatial point cloud. And I can mix those environments from going one to another. Now, we added those bubbles over here. So it's, it's, it's kind of a user interface. When I go inside that bubble, you see the image is loading again. And it's like being, st I'm really standing here. It's so super sharp, I can actually feel almost those, those objects. This is the actual image where the laser scan was standing, and this is a high resolution laser scan. I can go out of that bubble, and I get back to that spatial environment. Now this is of course fully integratable with 3D CAD. Now this is kind, still a kind of a demo data set. We didn't really have the time to, to integrate here, but uh, we got a visitor from NASA, I think. Um, so this, this, this little puppet here, that's an actual CAT model. So we integrated that into the laser scan. And it is fully um, interchangeable when I'm going to move inside such a bubble. And still, I'm in the, still in the same data set where I started with. Built from the ground up, the system is built from the ground up with only one thing in mind. As you see the environment there, there's a, there's a site of 10 square kilometers. Our ambition was to put all the 3D models they had over the last 10, 20 years, together with all the laser scans they will have in the future, all in the same place, in the same virtual space. Um, so that's, that was the ambition from the first letter of code, building it up. And that's its main, um, I think that's the main differentiator with all the VR products you've probably seen till now. We started this project from an engineering standpoint. We create projects, we build installations. But having these tools, we are actually now trying to broaden that perspective. What for maintenance? What for evacuation? What for safety? Um, what for economic studies when you are building yeah, a new control room? Can I quickly man manipulate all the objects when there is an alarm going off? How long is it going to take me to take that microphone to hit that alarm and so on. Okay, so this product is in a beta phase, as you can see, where they're still finishing development. It's operational at that site. The, that industrial group, ArcelorMittal, is going to deploy it. It's currently deploying it to other sites. And when it finishes beta, it should hit you guys. Yeah, so be a little bit patient. This is coming and we we hope to ship it soon. Thank you. <laughs>